Groups of people here in the Bay Area spend their night keeping a close eye on the candidates. Our Kelsey Thord talked to voters at a watch party in San Francisco. Well, hundreds of people gathered here in San Francisco's Mission District to watch the vice presidential debate. The crowd was definitely left leaning and very lively. But by the end of the night, many people told us they were actually pleasantly surprised at the substantive debate both candidates brought to the stage. On January. Oh! Janet Covey came with a few of her friends and sat near the front. She told us she lives in San Francisco but grew up in a Republican family. She said she was a little nervous for Democrats coming into the debate, but by the time it ended, she felt pretty good about how things went. My initial reaction is J.D. Vance is very slick, but I think he's forgotten who he's running with. I think that the reason they kept saying they aligned in a lot of the policies is because that really is what he thinks, but it's not the person he's running with. Several moments sparked reaction from Janet and the rest of the audience, but nothing quite like the heated back and forth between Vance and Walls over immigration. Cut him off. <laughs> yeah, right! The audience can't hear you because your mics are high. Yeah! J.D. Vance tried to make it seem like the vice president, who currently is Kamala Harris, runs the entire country. I think that's what he was trying to point out. I wonder if he thinks that that's what his job's going to be when he actually does that, because that's what he made it seem like in here. While most people in the room were not fans of Senator Vance, many told us they were happy to see a debate where, for the most part, the candidates followed the rules and were respectful to each other. It's very impressive. Was that part was much better. And Vance disassociated from Trump. You know, the reality is he, he was able to be agreeable on a lot of these policies because it wasn't really Trump's position.